Smith is going to get the white flag as he comes by this time. There it is. So that is our winner, Mark Martin. And Mark Martin will win the, for the second time in a row from the pole. Now, he can't, he, he can't run out of gas, which he won't, of course. And uh, I don't think he'll hit anything on this last half mile. Of course, he's been dodging bullets all day long. Tommy Houston uh, pulls up alongside Mark Martin. Tommy uh, looks like he thought the race was over, but Tommy better stay out there for one more lap. Yeah, that reminds me of Gil Yarbrough. Daytona. Daytona when Richard Petty won his 200. There was a couple of laps to go, and Gil drove in the pits. And who ended up finishing uh, second? I finished fourth. I think I think he beat me. I think I finished fourth that day. But uh, here comes Mark Martin. He's coming. What's he doing? Hello. He's coming down pit road. Wait a minute, Mark. The race is not over. And Mark, Mark has Martin pulled, pulled off. in. David Green was winning this race. David Green is going to win the race as Mark I Martin has pulled it. down pit road. I don't believe it. Have you ever seen a situation? I mean, the white flag was waving so clearly. Remember Daytona when Kale and Richard had that wonderful battle to the, to the line for the for the caution flag on the white flag and Kale pulled down pit road. Remember we told you Mark Martin had a radio problem, radio coming in and out. He probably could not hear the crew, and he's trying to talk now to the crew as he pulls back on the racetrack. And David Green will get his second career Bush Grand National victory. And David's not taking any chances. He's going to run another lap just to make sure. And so is Tommy Houston. <laughs> Does Santa Claus come in March <laughs> or April? That, We're in April today. Now. Isn't that something? David Green, you know, it's... it's uh, the race finishes under caution, but Green is coming, gaining on Mark Martin. So is Tommy Houston. Martin pulls behind the wall. Now, actually, he was pulling, headed to Victory Lane. His Victory Lane here at Bristol was yep. right down out yep. of turn four, yep. so he was headed to where he was supposed to go, to the gas pumps for the NASCAR inspection, but just a little bit early. He was about 300 yards short. Just a good four iron or something, baby, for you. Yeah. Hey, uh, Kyle, I wonder who's going to have the opportunity to talk to Mark Martin. <laughs> it's just going to be Kyle or John. <laughs> Well, Kyle Petty's headed to get back in his mellow yellow Pontiac for tomorrow for the practice. And we'll, of course, have our live flight to flight coverage tomorrow. But what a finish. And there's Mark Martin from inside the car. What a great run today, hanging on and uh, in the wind Dixie Ford. We thought he was going to be able to, uh, to win two in a row. He jumps out. And... There he goes. Well, he'll say, I just messed up. What? The NASCAR, the Bush official, goes up and starts talking to him. And... That's Chip Warren. <laughs> yep, he just, just messed up because the white flag, we saw it plainly on the screen. The white flag and the yellow were waving very clearly. And, uh, he hey, just... John, ask if he believes in Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Well, David Green has pulled it into victory lane, and I tell you what, he looks like he has he's the most surprised look on his face as he climbs out. The flash is flashed from the still photographers, and David, this isn't December 25th, is it? Seems like Christmas, doesn't it? Well, I don't know. Uh, you know, our luck's been, uh, I, I kept telling myself last 20 last, please, Lord, let there not be a caution, you know? And then caution flew, and I said, oh, darn, we're going to finish second. I, I don't know what happened, Mark. Uh, but I think, I think we were going to get him if we had a shot, but it's a tough way to win one, but uh, we've been awful close a lot of times. What what went through your mind when you saw Mark pull off and you all still well, didn't complete another lap? I, I thought I hadn't seen the checkered yet, you know, but uh, I, I stayed out on the track to make sure, you know, and I stayed out another one to make sure, but uh, I don't know. The Slim Jim Chevrolet ran good. The Goodyear tires were great. Carl B Wagner built us half a motor. Thanks to my spotter, Bobby, you know, he, he taught me all the way through that thing. Yeah, it was a tough race, a lot of action. How close uh, were you to most of it? Well, the lap cars, you know, as usual, were, was close, but uh, it's tough here at Bristol and close all the time, but uh, the car was awful good, and the guys did a good job. All right, David Green celebrating the victory here at Bristol, and guys, I guess it's my job to go find Mark Martin. And good luck, John. <laughs> get it over to talk to Mark Martin, who's going to be in a hurry to get in his Winston Cup car. Of course, that was our split bar. Winner's Circle interview down there with David Green picking up his second career victory. It has been three years since the young man has gone to victory lane. He did it back in April of 91 at Lanier Raceway. Back in a moment. Back at Bristol, Tennessee, probably the most unusual conclusion to an event I've seen in a long time here in the Goodies 250 NASCAR Bush Series event. 
Now here just moments ago, Ned, Mark Martin had dominated the, the race mm -hmm. and was up front and had to coast around to get the checkered yeah, flag. Yeah, all he had to do was get, go to the start-finish line. Tommy Houston had pulled up to congratulate him. Here comes Tracy Leslie up on the outside. He's pulling up there to congratulate him. Maybe it broke his concentration. And uh, he said, okay, I've won this thing. I could need to get to victory lane. Well, in fairness to Mark, ordinarily, they're not running that slow. The, you know, when the race is over, they slow down and the fans wave and the other drivers pull up alongside and wave to you. And that's, uh, so he had already been waved to by a couple of drivers. The fans were congratulating him. He's waving to the people as he comes mm -hmm. by and pulls down and heads to victory lane behind pit wall here out of turn four. Meanwhile, the checkered flag is waving and the crew said, Mark, what happened? Yep, they I don't know what to do or what to say. That's Christian Lovendahl, one of the Roush members, and uh, John Kernan has been looking for Mark Martin. John? <laughs> well, I caught up with him. Mark is changing to his Valvoline Winston Cup suit, tying his shoe there. And Mark, I tell you, I've never seen anything like that. I guess, well, Kel Yarborough back when Richard Petty won his uh, 200, but he was in second at that point. What, I what happened? Believe, I can't believe anybody else would be that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> So, so what when you... Listen, man, I've been pulling for David Green to win really hard, but that's not, not like that. That's the stupidest thing ever done. There's nothing else I can say. I thought the race was over. I, those guys pulled up beside of me waving, and I, I swear I thought I saw Houston come down pit road. I thought it was over. Dinner will be ready at 5. <laughs> <laughs> We've now all that's left tomorrow's race. Yeah, let me ask you about how you feel. How's your neck feel? Fine. That was, you piece, know, of that, cake. That was a piece of cake. I wish we could do 500 right now. I'm going, I got to go out there and redeem myself now. Has Jack? I know Jack was up on the radio. Did he say anything to you? He was coming down. He didn't even see it. And Steve said something. I, man, I just messed up. I thought it was over. And Win Dixie team did everything right. Man, they were fast on pit road and had a great race car. But we'll have to get the next one. Well, I tell you, tell you what, Mark. If Jack says anything to you, remind him about the gas calculation a few years ago. He won't say anything. Everybody feels sorry for somebody when they do something that stupid. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Guys, I tell you, it, it, John, it takes a real man to be able to smile on camera and say, man, was I ever dumb. I'll never believe a move like that. What a finish at Bristol, Tennessee. Back with more after this.